Welcome to the Battle of the Books competition for the 2016-2017 school year. I'm Ross Jansen from KWCH and I'll be your host this morning. Joining me are the student teams from Buckner, Clark, Jackson, and Riverside Elementary Schools. Now these teams have already competed in preliminary rounds at their schools in order to appear on today's program. We're looking forward to some exciting games for today and we have some wonderful students that are here today. Now students were given a list of 64 books to read. They need to be familiar with events, characters, and authors of the books in order to answer the questions today. They will also give a book talk about one title from the list. Each team has drawn a book title and was given 15 minutes to prepare a three minute presentation about the book. These book talks were taped earlier and will be seen later in the program. 12 points are possible for the book talk. Now these points will be added to the scores in all of the rounds. The first two teams to compete will be Buckner and Clark. Students, would you please introduce yourselves and tell us the title of your favorite book. We'll start over here. Gracie, my favorite book is the Harry Potter series. Trinity, my favorite book is the Doldrums by Nicholas Gannon. Hi, my name is Dasha. My favorite book is El Delfo by C.C. Bell. Hello, my name is Amaya, and my favorite book is um, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. All right, and from Clark Elementary? Um, my name is Olivia, and my favorite book is Running Out of Time by Margaret Peterson Haddix. Hi, my name is Jada, and my favorite book is Frindle by Clements. Hi, my name is Kobe, and my favorite book is El Defo by C.C. Bell. Hi, my name is George, and my favorite book is Doldrums by Nicholas Cannon. All right, we're so excited to have both schools with us today. Now, we're going to review the rules so that the audience will know how the game is played. Each match will consist of 20 questions given to alternating teams. The team members have 30 seconds to answer. They may confer about the answer, but only one person with the book may say the answer. Five points will be awarded for a correct title with five additional points added if the team can also name the author. If the team cannot answer the question or the answer is incorrect, the other team is allowed five seconds to give an answer. Five points will be awarded for the correct title and the winning team in the first round will compete against the winning team of the second round for our final match. First, let's take a look at the book talks from our first two competing teams. Hey, did you see what Mrs. Bryce's class was reading? No, what? They were reading Tales of Despero by K. Dicamello. Wow, I think I know what the characters are in that book. Please tell me. Despero, Princess P, the King, and Gregory the Jailer. Oh. I think I, since you said the King and the Princess, I think the setting would be in a castle. And I was walking by their class, and they said something about the mice living in a hole in the wall. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think I know what part of the problem is. Despero loves a princess. And he goes, he's not allowed to do that. So he has to go to the dungeon. With, and he meets a rat there. And he finally gets out. The rat captures the princess and takes her to the dungeon. The solution is, that Despero finds the princess and fights the rat and gets her out. Oh, that makes good sense. That's a good ending. And I think that some of the problem also is that um, Despero cannot smell, but and he is a big disgrace to his mother. And they said that he's a disappointment. And they also and so when he so when his mother tells him to go and find some crumbs from from the food. He, instead of going down and smelling around, he listens. Oh, that's oh. cool. Really cool. Well, I have to go back and teach my class. Me too. Bye, girls. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. What are you doing this weekend? I'm not doing anything. Me neither. Nothing. Well, I think we should go watch a movie, but I don't know what movie we should watch. 
I think we should see Mouse on the Motorcycle. The director of it is Beverly Clary. It's about this mouse who stays in this hotel, and he lives in this mouse hole, and this boy named Keith comes to lounge in it. Who are the characters? The characters are Mr. and Mrs. Griddley, Ralph, the bellboy, and Keith. Who are the, what are the settings? The settings are Ohio, California, the United States, and the hotel. What is the problem and solution? The problem is that Ralph loses the motorcycle Keith gave him. Sounds like a good movie. We should go watch yeah. it. Let's go. I'll get the tickets. Buckner earned 12 points on their book talk, and Clark earned 11 points. That's how they will start the, these, this round with those scores. Now the team from Buckner is going to answer the first question. All right, question number one. Tuesdays are Princess Seely's favorite days. That's because Castle Glower adds a new room, a turret, or sometimes even an entire wing. No one ever knows what the castle will do next. Name the book you would read about this in. Tuesday is at the castle. Do you know the author? No. Okay. That's the correct book title. Question two. A selfish girl and her kind sister are invited to meet the king. In the end, the kind sister becomes the king's wife and the selfish sister a servant. Name the book. Tuesday is at the castle. M Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters by John Stepto. That's correct. Question three, in which book do children look for a lion who is supposed to save a kingdom from a wicked witch? The Witch in the, wa the Wardrobe. The Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe by Lewis. That's correct. Question number four, Kansas was stuck in the middle of this book. Scrambled States of America by Lauren Keller. That's correct. In this book, the chickens live in the pink palace, and everyone is very surprised when the old chickens lay eggs that actually hatch. Name the book. We don't have the answer. Okay. We don't know it. The correct answer is Love, Ruby Lavender by Wiles. Dallas and Florida had racked up hundreds of hours in the thinking chair at the Boxton Creek Home for Children. They had broken every rule and were known as the Trouble Twins. Name the book. Ruby Holler by Sharon Creech. That's correct. Back to Buckner Elementary now with this next question. During World War II, Maggie and her family move to a new town where she meets a diverse group of new friends, a little person who can fit inside a plane, a girl her age who has never owned shoes, and a bomber pilot's wife and a daughter. Name the book. The Safest Lie? Uh, that's not correct. Willow Run by GIF. That is correct. Taking gymnastics classes helps a girl make the cheerleading squad in this book. Name that title. Bully by Polacco. That is correct. Question number nine, in which book does Anna find two Jewish children hiding in a small shed in the cemetery? The Safest Lie? Do you know the author? No. Okay, that is correct. 
Halfway through the round, back over to Clark Elementary. In which book could the reader learn a lot about homonyms and prime numbers? Rain, Rain by Ann Martin. That is correct. In which book would you find Cece, who wears overalls a lot to carry the phonic ear? El Duffel by Cece Bell. That's correct. Question 12. Cash helps Artie build a CICM communication device before becoming very ill in what book? Life on Mars by Jennifer Brown. That is correct. Question 13. In which book does everything begin to change when Luke looks through his attic vent to see an extra child's face in a house where two boys already live? Among the enemy. Among the enemy. Oh. Above the. Among, among the hidden. Okay. By among the hidden. Among the hidden. Among the hidden by Alex. Hedix. Hedix. That is correct. Back to Clark Elementary now. In what book is the main character greeted by his dog Zeke after arriving at the crumbled remains of his home in search of his family? Goblin Tornado 2011 by Tarshish. That's correct. At the beginning of this book, Jack states that he always carries a camera to photograph every monster he comes across in order to study their attacks, defenses, strengths, and weaknesses. What is the title of this book? The Last Kids on Earth. Do you know the author? No. Okay, that's the correct title. Name the book that is a biography about a man that said science is truth and wanted to improve the lives of African Americans using science. The picture book of George Washington Carver by David Atler. That's correct. Question 17. In this book, the title character preferred to read the Sears Roebuck catalog and learn about all of the things that used electricity. Name this book. The Boy Who Invented TV. Do you know the author? No. No. That's correct book title. Three questions to go. In what story do all the mice cry to the dungeon several times? Tales of Despero by D. Camillo. That's correct. Question number 19. In this story, the hunters came after the main character and wanted his head for the Harvard Club Wall. Name this book. The Big Hearted Moose by Seuss. Thidwick, the Big Hearted Moose by Seuss. That's correct. And last question for this round goes to Clark Elementary. In this book, fourth graders are called rats. What is the title of this book? Third Grade Angels by Jerry Spinelli. That is correct. So that was a very good round, competitors, and we're going to tally the scores and have, have an answer for you. All right, what do you think of the questions? Were they hard? <laughs> what was the hardest part, just remembering some of the authors? Yeah. There are a lot of books to try to remember. What did you think of the questions? I would say they were somewhat easy. You practiced yeah. a lot at yeah. school. You did? Yeah. I think the most, the most I, would, I felt pressured was when we, when we were stealing. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that one's the most. Because you yeah. expect one team to get yeah. the answer, so you don't yeah, have to worry so then about you're, it. Yeah, like, not prepared for it until yep. they don't get it. And then you only have five seconds to come up with the answer, so. It's lots of pressure. Have you guys been practicing a lot, too? Anybody feel relieved now that the questions are over? Yes. <laughs> the hardest part's always getting started, right? Yeah. That's kind of like with anything. It's hardest part is just getting going. Okay. The final score in this game was 72 by Buckner and 116 by Clark. So congratulations to Clark Elementary. You're going to meet the winner of the next match the winner of our next match in the final round of Battle of the Books. Let's take a look at the book talks from the teams in round two. Hello and welcome back to Book Talks with Abby. Here are our contestants, Natalia Bell, Angel Ely, and Naya Robb. The book we will be asking questions on today will be called High Times for Hero, Magic Treehouse. Does anyone know the author? Bzz. Naya? Mary Hope by uh, Mary Hope Osborne. Close. Bzz. Yes? Mary Pope Osborne. That is correct. Now. Who knows the main characters of the book? Naya. Fanny, Jack, um, Florence Nightingale, and Baby Baboon. That is correct. Who knows the settings of the book? Bzz. Yes, Natalie Bell? In the treehouse, in the summertime, in the house, in, in the river, in Egypt. Sorry, that is incorrect. Anyone else know? Okay, the answer is in the treehouse, at the house, the Valley of the Queens, the Nile River, and outside in the summertime. Now, what is the problem in the book? The problem in the book is that Florence wants to be a, a nurse, but he has no confidence. That is correct. Now, who has the solution of the book? Bzz. Yes. Annie and Jack, they go to Egypt and help her gain her confidence by pretending to be sick and having her help them. That is correct. Now, who can tell me the summary for Bzz. bonus points? Annie and Jack um, go to Egypt and they help Florence Nightingale build up her confidence. That is correct. Now. To final points are Natalia has a total of five points, Angel has six, and, a, and Naya has a total of 26. Naya now gets to go to Hawaii for five days. See you next Friday for Book Talks with Abby. Hello, I am Miss Applegate. I will be signing your the one and only Ivan books today. Here's my book. I really liked the character Ivan because sometimes he was super happy, but other times he was very, very sad or mad or whatever. And then I really liked his friend Bob the dog because other, sometimes he was really funny. And then Ruby the baby elephant, she was so cute and she was so curious about everything. And then Stella, she was a great elephant, too sad she had to die. And Mac the zookeeper, he got really rude towards the end. I don't like how you did that. Thank you. Thank you. I really like George the Zookeeper, by the way. Hello. Here. Hi, Miss Applegate. I really like how that the settings was where it was at the Big Top Mall and how the circus area was in the mall and at the very end how Ivan went to the zoo and Ruby did and how George and Julia came to see them. Thank you, Miss Applegate. Hi, I really enjoyed your book. I especially liked the plot because I liked the way that I liked the way that um, I liked
like the way that Ivan mentioned that he missed um, the wild where he came from, but that he made new friends at um, Big Top Mall. And I really liked all of your characters. I thought it was really sad that Stella died, but I really liked the... Uh, Ruby and Ivan were friends, and I love the way that at the very end, they ended up going to the zoo to be together. Thank you for coming. This is the end of the one and only Ivan book signings. Mm. The competitors in our next round are from Jackson and Riverside Schools. They're going to introduce themselves and tell us the title of their favorite books. My name is Naya Robb, Life, Life on Mars by Jennifer Brown. I'm Abby, and my favorite book is Breakaway Beyond the Goal by Alex Morgan. My name is Angel, and my favorite book is The Last Kids on Earth by Max Bailier. My name is Natalia, my favorite book is Terrible Two. And from Riverside? My name is Anthony, and my favorite book is Rain Rain by Martin. My name is Adam, and my favorite book is The Invention of Hugo Cabret. My name is Addison, and my favorite book is The Hunger Games Catching Fire. My name is Ava, and my favorite book is from the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> All right, well, good luck to both schools for this round. Now, Jackson will begin the round with 12 points, and Riverside School also starts with 12 points from their book talks. And the Jackson team was going to answer our first question today. In this book, you might hear the terms penalty kick, Shootout and Defender, name the title. Soccer Shootout by Bob Temple. Uh, the book title is correct. Okay. Question two, in which book do we read about a man who wears a fancy coat, carries an iron wand, and convinces the people of Paris that he controls a magic force that can control thoughts, cure illnesses, and even make water taste like a hundred different things. Mem Mesmerized by Rockcliff. Okay. Question three. The integrity, the dignity, the quiet strength of Mrs. Parks turned her no into a yes for change. Name the book. Rosa by Giovanni. That's correct. Question number four, back to Riverside. In what book does a little girl discover that the horrid headmistress, Miss Trunchbull, is Miss Honey's aunt? Matilda by Dahl. Yeah, that's correct. One hundred jobless men wait below for a chance to work in which book? Sky Boys by Deborah Hopkin. Hopkinson. That's correct. Question number six. The main character of this book tries to rescue the toothpaste top from the bathroom drain, which results in a water stain in the kitchen below and ends with the main character and his grandpa crashing the family car into the ditch. Name this book. Old School by Kenny. That's correct. Question number seven, back to Jackson we go. And this book is about the fight for Mexicans to attend a white school. Name this book. Separate is Never Equal by Duncan Tunatu. Tunatu? That's correct. This famous dancer is well known for the banana dance she performed in Paris, France. What is this book? Josephine by Powell. That's correct. Question number nine. In this book, a boy's class goes on a field trip to his own house, and he joins a kindergarten class on their trip to the museum on Halloween. Name this book. We don't know. The Doldrums by Cannon. That is not correct. The correct answer was seven dead pirates. Question number 10. The wounded veteran in this story has three different prostheses for his arm, which the family referred to as Captain Hook, the Terminator, and Ken. Name this book. Alice 
Absolutely, truly by Frederick. That's correct. Question number 11. When the Mayflower comes to the New World, only the men get off the ship to explore areas for a new settlement. In which book did this happen? Journey to the New World. We don't know the author. Okay. Question number 12. Back to Riverside we go. Lucy wants to win the photography contest so that she can rent a pontoon boat and take Nate's grandma, Lila, across the lake to see the loons. Her photographs do not earn her first place. In which book do we wonder if a second place finish will be enough? Half a chance by Lord. That's correct. And back to Angel for this question. In this book, one of the main characters' class sang the 12 days of Christmas in Hawaii, complete with the line, a parrot in a palm tree, at which time Cookie, the parrot, responded with the line, Mary had a little lamb. Name the book. Holly Jolly Day by McDonald. That's correct. Back to Riverside for question number 14. Cornelius von Kickpaw has secret agent gear such as a bow, a bow tie that turns into a rope and a ring filled with sneezing powder. Name this book. Secret agent by Stilton. Geronimo Stilton, secret agent by Stilton. That's correct. In what book will you find out interesting survival tricks that help some kinds of frogs live in very cold places? Wood frogs and spring peepers will even freeze partly solid. They have a sort of antifreeze in their blood that lets them survive. Yep, questions over here. Nick Bishop Frogs by Nick Bishop. That's correct. Question number 16, back to Riverside. The main character of this book has friends like Toe Jurtle, Ploppy Sig, Polly Durkenpine, and Pilly Bellican. Name this book. Runny Babbitt by Silverstein. That's correct. Question number 17, back to Jackson. In which book does Ralph learn that the toy vehicles don't go unless he makes a noise? Mouse on the Motorcycle by what? Clary. That's correct. Three questions to go. Now for you, Anthony. Name the book that details the events of four airplanes that were hijacked and used to terrorize the United States. America, America is under attack by Brown. That's correct. Question number 19 for you, Abby. In which book does the main character want to run away from school to get the police to help her find her friend who she knows is running from an abusive father? She finds her and convinces her to go to the police station to tell the truth about what has happened. True set up by Katherine Hannigan. That's correct. And our last question for round two, this biography of a man's life and career tells how a rambunctious boy from Waukesha, Wisconsin was propelled to stardom by his musical ability and his technological expertise. Name this book. Electric Guitar Man by Wyckoff. That's correct. All right, so we'll wait for the scores to be tallied. What did you think of the questions for round two? Not too bad. Not too bad? Anybody feel like they're really hard? No. No, not really. So that means you've studied and prepared mm -hmm. yeah. adequately for today. Anybody feel better now that the round is over? Nope. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Yeah. How much have you guys been studying for today? Would you say a little, a lot? A lot. A lot. We did, um, 
Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays every week. But then we started doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Anybody practice at home? Review? A little bit. Yeah. Little I bit. kind of tried to read all the books since the summer. Okay. So you know what books are on the list even before the school year started? Have you guys been studying a lot too? Yes. For the past May, a couple months. Okay. That's yes. kind of a long time. <laughs> yeah. I practice that. <coughs> Okay, so the score in this round was 97 for Jackson and 112 for Riverside School. So congratulations to Riverside. You're going to meet the winner of the first round for the championship match. We will change teams for our final round, so let's see if you can answer some questions about last year's books. So we're ready to start our final battle. The winner of this round will be one of our champions for the 2016-2017 school year. The teams are from Clark and Riverside Schools, and we wish good luck to both teams. All right, so question one. Name the book in which you would read about the great white sharks returned to California's Fallon Islands to hunt their favorite meal, the seals that live on the island's rocky coast. Neighbor, neighborhood Sharks by Catherine Roy. That's correct. Question number two, back to Riverside. In this story, the animals refer to kids as nutters and adults are called lankies. Name this book. Malcolm Under the Stars by Beck. That's correct. Question number three. In which book would you hear, Eat It or Wear It? Journey to a New World by Lasky. That's not correct. Five seconds to steal. Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing by Bloom. That is correct. Question number four. In which story did a brother and sister's mother die the morning after the brother, Caleb, was born? Sarah Plain and Tall by McLaughlin. That's correct. In what book would you read about an all-star baseball team that became the team nobody would play? Let them play by Margaret D. Raven. That's correct. 
Question number six, back to Riverside. In which book was a man mailed from Richmond, Virginia to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and then became free? Henry's Freedom Box by Levine. That's correct. And to you, George, question number seven. In which book do the boys whose family hired a nanny to watch them refer to him as Murray Poppins? The Day the Mustache Took Over by Cats. That's correct. Archer didn't have a dog or cat like many children do, but he lived in a house full of creatures that were stuffed with fluff, and many of those creatures would even talk to Archer. Name this book. The Doldrums by Gannon. That's correct. Question number nine. In this book, Josh is the annoying principal Barkin's son who bullies other students. Terrible Two by Barnett. That's correct. Question number 10. The twins in this book exacted revenge and kept themselves safe by dumping the contents of an RV's disposal tank on top of their health teacher while she was sitting in her open convertible. Name this book. Mission Unstoppable by Gutman. Yes. All right, we're halfway through the round. Question number 11. When the two time-traveling characters in this book are injured, Florence Nightingale helps them heal. They are, they are convinced Florence Nightingale to follow her dreams of becoming a nurse. Name the title of this book. High Time for Heroes by Mary Pope Osborne. That is correct. Question 12. In this book, the main character likes to search for geocaches for fun. What book is this? The Map Trap by Clements. Yes, that's correct. In this story, Beige is tired of playing second fiddle to Brown. Blue needs a break from coloring all that water, while Pink just wants to be used. Green has no complaints, but Orange and Yellow are no longer speaking to each other. Name this book. The Day the Crown's Clip by Drew Daywalt. That's correct. Back to Riverside for this question. Which book tells you what questions to answer before you get a feline pet? Cats by Simon. That's correct. Question number 15. This book tells about an invention that we still enjoy every Thanksgiving morning. Name this book. The Boy Who Invented TV by Catherine Gruel. That's not correct. Five seconds to steal. Now the correct answer was Balloons Over Broadway by Sweet. Question number 16. In which book does Zoe's dad get a night job at Nunzio's Buns after Nunzio tasted his amazing maple tart? A Crooked Kind of Perfect by Urban. That's correct. Back to Clark Elementary for question number 17. A girl nicknamed Pitch, whose climbing skills are well known, plans to use a 24-foot ladder to reach a skylight in a home where something valuable is being kept. This will give her team members entry into the home. Name the book. Soccer Shootout by Maddox. That is not correct. Let Them Play by Raven. No, the correct answer is Swindle by Corman. Three questions to go. The girl in this book successfully sneaks a loaf of bread to her friend Mikhail, who lives behind the wall in Warsaw, Poland. Name this book. 
cat in Krasinski Square by Hesse. That's correct. Two questions to go, number 19. Items needed to clean your pet feline include a tub, warm water, shampoo, soap, washcloths, brush, handheld shower head, bathrobe, and dry towels. And you might want to also have a su suite of armor, a doctor on speed dial, and bandages. Name this book. Bad Kitty Gets a Bath by Nick Brule. That is correct. And our last question in round three. The grandmother is called Popo in this story. Name the book. Lon Popo by Young. That is correct. All right, so what did you think of the questions in round three? <laughs> they were harder? Okay. Did anybody feel like, oh, yeah, that's right, after I read the answer? Yeah, <laughs> Well, good job, everyone. Everyone should take a deep breath and be proud of your accomplishments, right? You come a long way. Who's getting hungry for lunch? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you guys going for lunch? Pizza, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. And where were you guys going? <laughs> Oh, you don't know. That's right. <laughs> Everybody excited since it's Friday? Yes. yes. <laughs> Always feels good to get to the end of the week, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so the score in our tournament today was 81 for Clark School and 117 for Riverside School. So, of course, our winner today is Riverside. And we've got some prizes for you. So, just take one of these and pass it on down. There you go. And I think the very first one I handed out didn't have a medal, so you can pass that down. There you go. All right, so congratulations, Riverside. Your dedication and teamwork throughout the year was a great accomplishment. We're proud of all of the students who participated in our teams and schools. Thanks for your efforts and also to the library, the classroom teachers, and of course the parents for all they have contributed. Now join us this afternoon at 2 o'clock here on WPS-TV, which is Cox Cable Channel 20 and ATTU-verse Channel 99 to see another exciting battle of the books competition. And of course remember students, keep reading.